Hi and welcome to our YouTube video TLCKP which is the initials of our family so there's me, Tam, my husband Luke, my eldest daughter Chloe, son Kai and my youngest daughter Penny who has just turned 10 months and we are going to do today's video regarding what we bought Penny for Christmas. So I'm going to start with what we've got for Penny's Christmas Eve box. So we just got this box here for from Tesco's. So it was just £3 and you can put some stickers here just to personalise it with their names. So that's what we did. So in here what we decided to go for are some just some bits and pieces and as Penny is exclusively breastfed with obviously solid food we decided to go for some bits and pieces and a couple of snacks for her so I will mention that Penny is dairy free and she has a non IgE allergy to cow's milk but she also has an IgE so an immediate allergy to egg so we do have to be careful with her weaning and I will do a video in the future of uh, what it's like to wean and an a baby with allergies and how we went about uh, doing all of that basically. So we started doing a Christmas Eve box with the older two a few years ago and usually what we put in it are pyjamas, underwear, socks, smellies, some snacks and a book. So, so the things that we got Penny to go in her box. So we started with this sleep suit from Primark. It is a uh, Mickey Mouse Christmas family pyjamas. Uh, but we just got this and it comes with a little Mickey Mouse hat. And we got that in size 0 to 3 months. Um, Penny is 10 months old, but she's quite small. Um, she was born six pound two ounces, went down to five pound eight ounces, and it's just taken her time to get bigger, basically. So, um, so she is still in 0 to three months, mainly 0 to three month clothes. She's virgin on the three to six months in some sleep suits, but they are quite large quite long for her because she is quite petite <coughs> so basically yes so we got uh, this from Primark um, I don't think they do them anymore um, to be fair by the time this video goes up it will be the day before Christmas Eve so um, but basically this was originally £7 and we got it reduced down to, uh, I believe it was £5 at the time when we bought it in November. Okay. Then we moved on, then we got her a couple of books. So we got her the, uh, that's not my, so we got her the, it's hard to see, that's not my Christmas fairy. They're really good, especially, well, for any age babies. They've got lots of textures. So this is like velvety. Then you've got a spongy, shiny bit here. And I think any baby, especially the older ones, love anything textural. Uh, Penny loves just, just touching it and scratching it and things like that. And then we got her one other book. So we got her this book here, which yes it is an easter book but basically there is meaning behind this book so penny we bought penny a um a halloween peppa pig book for halloween and we also found a christmas one so what i wanted to do was try and find an easter book that um we weren't able to get at the time because i'd had penny by cesarean so i couldn't actually get out at the time to get anything like that because i couldn't drive so what we so i looked it up on google and found this particular book and it was actually released it was actually published on the day of her birth so 
I thought that was a really sentimental gift and I've done the same for my daughter and I'm still trying to find one for my son um but my daughter was born in 2005 my eldest daughter Chloe so it was it was actually easier than finding one for my for Kai who was born in 2007 so but yes so this was actually published on the day of Penny's birth so I'm hoping it's something she can keep until she gets older so then we move on to um some toiletries so Penny's got uh, quite bad eczema which comes up and goes down again um so what we got was we've not actually tried this before and someone recommended it to us so it's the child's farm uh, fragrance free body wash uh, which is suitable for sensitive skin and does say maybe uh, suitable for paper prone to eczema so we're going to try her on that i just got this off of amazon on prime delivery and it wasn't very expensive, it was only maybe £2.50, I think it was, which I don't think was bad considering the prices of Child's Farm in the supermarkets. So then we go for the snacks, so the edible items. So we've got the Ella's Kitchen Dairy Free Porridge, which is pear and fig, and she absolutely loves this. Whenever she has it, she goes mad for it she just makes lots of noises she goes and just it's it's quite funny to watch um so yeah so we thought we'd get one of these as a little special little breakfast treat for christmas day morning and then we got her um some of these blueberry wafers which are also dairy free um they're also gluten free and basically there's no milk nuts egg there's not anything in it is suitable for everyone they're quite good for them and they are extremely sticky um so i would warn anybody about that but they are also suitable for babies they say suitable from six months um which is when we started weaning penny we didn't do it any earlier with the older two we did but that's what you were told to do in um, 2005 and still the case in 2007 so we did wean from four months with the older two but with penny we did start at six months and because she was three weeks early she was actually i would say too early to start weaning at her age of six months so i think because she kept pushing it out the food out with her mouth but again i'll go into more detail in another video with that uh, but these are good for babies that don't have teeth yet which penny is only just started to just starting to poke through the bottom two feet so they are good because they just melt away but i will warn you they are extremely sticky so be aware so but yes yeah, so that's what we've got for her christmas eve box right now we're going to move on to penny's actual christmas present so we're going to start with some little shoes so we got these little shoes here just these little velvet bow shoes from H&M and I got them in I got them for I believe they were $8.99 um, now these have got harder bottom soles now we tried to get some shoes for Penny out of Clark's uh, because she is walking around the furniture and does stand freely but unfortunately clocks don't go down to her size she is only well, these are a zero size zero and they are a little on the bigger side so she could have probably done with a slightly smaller pair but unfortunately it's very hard to find shoe like hard bottom sole shoes for babies with very small feet or ba small babies in general which i'm not sure why if anybody knows of anywhere that does um, that sells hard soled shoes for at least a size zero, baby size zero, then please let me know in the comments as that would be really helpful. But yeah, so we got these from H&M and they were $8.99. They were actually just a random find. Um, I saw them on Mama Loves High Street, which is an Instagram page, and they were talking about uh, babies um outfits for christmas and so we got her these so she's gonna actually wear these with her christmas day outfit so yes so 
Then we move on to, I got her this little outfit from Studio, which I believe is in size three to six months so that she can grow into it. Yes, it is. So we've got this little vest here, which says, Mummy, my bestie. And it comes with this little, little pinafore dress. So we got her that. We also got her, sorry, just get in the stuff. Uh, we also got her this outfit here, which is this little vest here with the little clouds on the sleeves. And that comes with these little dungarees. Uh, that was also from studio and it's also in size three to six months um now as noticed by my tea towels and bits and, and oven cloths behind me um i'm a huge kath kidson fan i'm also wearing a kath kidson jumper here um and glasses i'm a huge kath kidson fan so of course i wanted to dress penny in some kath and things even when possible so on ebay i managed to find this little footless all-in-one pajamas uh with a with a vintage kath kidston print on it so just this print here this is in three to six months also so just it'll last her um over the winter period just to keep it nice and warm so i got that off ebay um eBay is a great place to find some vintage things, some cheaper things. And if you check out my Instagram page, Hinching with Wheels and Kath, um, I have been posting every day to my grid post in December of Penny in a different Christmas outfit and telling you what we got up to every day. And um, I've her in Christmas outfits every day basically and she does I do like to put her in headbands and things like this things I didn't do with my daughter back well nearly 17 years ago now so some of the other bits and pieces that we actually got Penny we got her a lot of essentials so things that she actually needs like we did get her a walker one of those VTech ones uh, in pink but because she started uh, walking around furniture and things like this from around seven months, uh, we actually go over to her a lot earlier, so she's using that already. So we actually got her a lot of essential things that she actually needs, like she's been using a baby hooded tail, a uh, towel, sorry, I uh, can't speak today, uh, baby hooded towel, especially for swimming and see after um, showers because I'm in a wheelchair, um, so I have, uh, I'm unable to walk, so hence the wheelchair, uh, so we don't actually have a bath, but we have a graded floor shower, so Penny um, sits in an angel care bath seat, so even though she does sit up just fine, she is quite good about laying back and just relaxing whilst in the shower thankfully um there is a little bit of a fight to get her to lay back although she cries a little bit she she generally does love it and plays with the shower the water coming out of the shower and things like this sort of similar things that they do in swimming with some of the toys so we did manage i did struggle to find a larger hooded towel and she absolutely loves being wrapped up with it over her head and things like this so anyway, so we did, I did manage to find one in H&M, which is just here. It is quite nice. It is 70 by 130 centimeters. So although it's the same length, it's doubled the width. So when it wraps it up and I, it's quite a lovely size. So it's just this one here. So it is quite wide and that's just half of it, just here. <laughs> I can't get it all in. But um, yes, yeah, so I believe that was, $12.99 I believe which when I found when I did find some others online they came up with a lot more money than that so whilst I was on H&M and if you sign up to become a member which doesn't cost you do 
generally save around 10 percent so that's what i did um and it's got a little little hook here so you can so they can hook it up in swimming so we also we did originally buy her this as it came up as a hooded robe and when i looked at the comments on uh studio because it was personalized a lot of people said about it being a towel and things like this although when it's turned up it's actually more like a like a fleecy blanket like a really soft throw blanket so it is not what i was after at all but it is it is still a quite a nice little blanket to keep her nice and warm so it is hooded here and it, it does have kind of a personalization on it if i can just find it so it's just here so just there but it i don't know how well these letters that are stuck on would last when it's been washed so we will see um but it is just a pepper pig personalized hooded towel and the instructions do say it can the washing instructions do say it can be washed but i'm not sure um we will wait and see i'll have to wait and see about that one so then we got her so we got her some more baby sponges from um just for her to wash her from i believe these were from morrison's and i believe they were 40p um as her ones that she has have started to break and degrade i suppose uh, they've got like rips and things like that in them so that's what we've done um i will say that during penny's bath times or shower times um we do still cover her with a little flannel so we got some from um tesco's which were about three pound i believe for a pack of two they're extremely thick so uh, the pink ones uh they're like a dull pink color um they're quite thick so they keep her nice and warm and she does like to be warm i don't know if this is because she's a smaller baby uh, but we do find that in swimming as well as that she gets cold very quickly but she, there isn't a lot to her and she she's still a small weight she's on quite a low centile um at the last weigh-in we are due to get her weighed again next week but at the last weigh-in she was um still on the 0.4 percentile so right at the very bottom for her weight and she was what she was measured height wise uh, a few weeks ago and um i believe she was almost off the chart completely as in quite short so just below the 0.4 percentile for her height so she is just generally a small baby so now we then i got her these i saw these on home with shan's youtube channel as to what she got her son george so these are paint sticks i got them out of b and m i think they were two pound fifty so they're mess free ones um you just twist it up and down like a glue stick and then paint with it so i'm hope i'm hoping that it'll that penny will we can give it a go give it a go and see what she thinks of it and hope for the best but it should be good to give her some play some arts and crafts that we can do after christmas then i did get her a couple more christmas books like i said earlier on i got the peppa pig easter one which was published on the date of the birth i also got this peppa pig christmas one that i found on amazon I also got this one, just a board book out of, um, uh, I believe that was from Home Bargains. I believe this one was about 80, 90p, 99p, I believe. Um, so not very expensive. And the one from Amazon was maybe three or four pounds. So not very much at all. Um, sticking with the Peppa Pig theme, <laughs> I did get her a puzzle. So it's just, it's just, they've just got like little, um little plastic handles if you like so she can grab them and put them back in so just a little little puzzle just eight pieces and it does say from two plus on the back there but she won't ever be playing she doesn't ever play unsupervised she's always supervised when play 
is going on so i think i think that should be okay so then we got her a toy for the bath so we just got this here this is a to me one i believe that's how you say it again it's from 12 months but she's not she's definitely never unsupervised in the shower as i shower at the same time as her so this is just one uh because like i say we don't have a bath so this just suctions on to we've got tiles up the walls so this just will suction onto that and it just turns as the water's in it like so and all the things here turn and even this comes out with a little cup so yeah so hopefully she'll like it and it'll just make bath time or shower time a little bit more interesting for her so we've got that too like the last two presents that we have penny are the bigger two and excuse the layout of the way I've been going through these. I've just been taking them out of the bag that they were in. Um, so I do apologise if it's a bit all over the place. And I do apologise if I keep looking over to the right. Uh, that is just where, I swear the viewfinder is on my camera. So I do apologise for that. So the last two presents I bought are from Studio. So at a baby group that we go to. Uh, Penny loves the like moving the beads around and things like this on an activity cube so we got her just this here this is a wooden learning draft so it's got some blocks on it and it's also got some beads and things like that so yeah so we got that for her um, again it's from studio and it's got some numbers and things like that on it so I'm hoping that that was something that she can enjoy I didn't, we didn't want to get her anything too big because we don't have lots of space to put lots of different big toys and she doesn't need them. Um, she's happy to play with the toys that she plays with now. And so the last thing that we got her was this bigger one here, which is, again, it's actually personalised with her name. So this actually won't come off. So what we got was this here, this little learning activity station. So we've got the we've got the little holes here for the different shapes to go through. And then this side, you've got a clock. And then as you can see on the top, it's actually personalized with her name. So then you just take that out there. And then on the inside, it actually came with all these things. So you've got a little puzzle here it is a bit more complicated this puzzle hence why i got the peppa pig one with the things that she can actually use to pull it in and out but it came this all came together and i believe this was about 12 pounds so it was quite cheap um and all these bits came in it so we got the, it comes with the puzzle comes with a little bead thing but it is quite small hence why we got the other one comes with the shapes to go in the holes um, it also comes with some wooden blocks here, just different shapes and things like that, so she can so she can build some things maybe with it. And it also comes with the little alphabet cubes, and they've actually got like little shapes. It's actually got little shapes. Sorry, it won't focus. And some numbers on the cubes. So that is everything that we bought Penny for Christmas. So what we plan to do, um, what we've asked my family for, um, my, one of my sisters is actually going to give her a, get her a Whirly gift card. So that is what we're planning to do for her birthday, as her birthday's in um, middle of February. So here's Penny. She has joined us for the last section of the video. So she's just smiling at her big brother. Hello. <laughs> just wanted to say hello so here she is in one of her christmas outfits which we got from tesco's so i will be posting it on my on my instagram grid post today so we will be back in the next video where i hope to do some filming over the christmas period so over christmas eve christmas day and maybe boxing day too and I will upload that 
beginning of next week. So in the future, I will be doing some more videos about motherhood, lifestyle, disability, health, and if you have any other videos that you would like to see, then please do put a comment below and I will reply and I'll do my best to give you guys what you want. But anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.